Hey guys, uh, what you're looking at here is what the LDS online store, the Latter-day Saints online store, um, calls their starter kit. It uh, comes in a case that fits these six cans in it, these six one-gallon cans. Um, it's white flour, hard red wheat, hard white wheat, quick oats, white rice, and pinto beans. Um, I wouldn't say buy this starter kit online from the LDS cannery because it is it, the variety ends up costing you more money than it's actually worth. But it is um, it's nice to have to you know get your feet wet if you're just starting prepping or just starting to build up your long-term food storage you can kind of get an idea of what the LDS sells um, the hard red wheat um, that's uh, one of the main staples of our my wife and I's food storage now um, the hard red wheat kind of makes it makes a really good wheat bread obviously <laughs> but it's not a wheat bread it's a heavier wheat bread than what you would get in the store and um, from what if you read about milling your own wheat into flour um, you'll end up I guess being won over to the idea that milling your own wheat is probably healthier for you um, the LDS cannery does sell and the online store does sell bags of flour too um, and flour already canned um, the I would say that buying flour and just storing it with oxygen absorbers and mylar bags or oxygen absorbers and number 10 cans like this probably isn't worth it because you're gonna want to cycle through that flour in I would say less than a year <laughs> um, I know there's some estimates that say that flour can last up to seven years, but it's either way it's going to degrade in quality far faster than the whole wheat berry. So I would just I would go with the uh, wheat berry. Um, I would say so. The cannery here in Minnesota, you can buy a 25 pound bag of wheat for hard red wheat for I think it's 12.50. Um, these cans work out to be about, I think it was a buck twenty. I'll put the description down in the bottom there. Um, it's kind of a, I think buying the bags of wheat from the cannery and then doing it yourself, storing it in Mylar bags with oxygen absorbers, it might work out to more expensive or just as expensive as buying the um, already packaged stuff from the LDS website. Um, definitely the cheapest way of doing all of this is going to the LDS cannery, volunteering there and packing your stuff with them or um, depending on how the cannery is operated in your area. And I'll leave a link to the LDS website's list of canneries. Um, I think it's Mr. Wranglestar has been doing a couple videos about the LDS cannery and I gotta say um, while I don't agree with the LDS beliefs at all they are great people they're really nice people and um, they've been doing home food storage for longer than anyone else so they're definitely a resource worth working with um, Watch out for, I mean, you can buy number 10 cans of freeze-dried fruit and emery-type meals and that sort of thing, and it's going to cost you a ton of more money. There's a lot of people out there looking to take advantage of new preppers trying to, or new survival-type people that are trying to just get some food stored. Um, definitely watch out for that. Um, I wouldn't go for any of that freeze dyed stuff personally. Um, I guess Mountain the House is one of the big brands along with, um, I don't know, I get like three or four offers every day from someone else that wants to peddle that crap. 
And uh, I mean, it's fine if you got a lot of money, but if you're trying to do it on a budget and you're trying to, um, I guess, bulk up on the staples, the LDS cannery is certainly the way to go. Thanks for watching. Bye.